Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? In today's video, we're going to feature a guitar from PRS. This is Paul's guitar, Copper 10 Top.
I want to thank Jeanette from Davis Guitar for sending this guitar for review. Um, okay, this is this is a PRS. So some of you might know that I don't particularly like PRS guitars. Well, not all of them. This is one of the few that I really like. In fact, I love this guitar a lot. <laughs> All right, this is a, a mahogany um, body with a mahogany neck, a Honduras rosewood fretboard with a 10 inch fret radius. You have uh, 22 frets, stainless steel, bow nut at 43 mm, roughly 43 mm nut width. It's got a beautiful figured maple tan top, very nice. Up close, it's something to behold. Right, uh, you have recessed uh, volume and treble knobs. You have two uh, diff switches here for the split call for each individual pickups, which I appreciate. You have a three way selector switch. These pickups are the PRS TCI treble and bass uh, pickups. These are like mini humbuckers in a way, but I love these pickups a whole lot. Okay, this this pickups are something else. If if there's nothing about the rest of the guitar, this these pickups are the ones to to actually die for. These are really nice pickups. Okay, you have a PRS wraparound stop tail with brass inserts. Right, you can actually provide grooves for you to wrap around your strings, which is pretty cool. All right, you have a set neck. Right, and these are the uh, PRS. Phase 3 lock-in tuners, very nice. I always like this part about the PRS guitars, you know, it's, yeah, something else. Okay, this is how it looks like up close. Okay. You can lock your tuners on top here, or you can use a screwdriver if you need it to be more secure. Okay. You have the birds. Right, the famous birds, but these are like more like brushed, painted birds. Really nice, really exquisite. I'm gonna put a weight of this guitar. I'm gonna put a price of this guitar here. We here. Uh, again, this guitar is available in uh, Davis uh, Guitar in Singapore. So if you're in Singapore, you might just want to take a look at this. What do I feel about this guitar? Okay, like I said, it is one of the few PRS guitars that I really like. This is a 25 inch uh, length guitar, right? So I'm kind of used to the normal strat length, you know, and um, this takes a little bit of getting used to, but for this guitar, particularly for this guitar, I didn't have too much problem getting used to it. It, it, it played, well, especially the string bandits, I tend to over bend a little bit because, you know, you, you just don't have that much tension, not, not much of a fighting back, you know, when you're bending strings, but cool, you get used to it after a while. The, the thing about this guitar is, of course, the the pickups. These pickups are really good. Um, needs to be creamy. They are creamy. Needs to be crystal clear. They are crystal clear. This guitar is like a uh, what should we say? The, the the mid position is so uh, useful in this guitar because you have the split call, individual split call. So you can have like. Uh, like you know, like you can split the the neck pickup and not split the, the bridge and vice versa. You get a wonderful combination. But the thing that got me was in humbucker mode. The middle position is something else. That I like that tone a lot. I like the tone a whole lot. Now before I forget, the neck shape is called pattern. Never heard of a pattern neck shape before. Uh, it feels like a C, right? A bit chunkier than C over over here. But as it goes up, it gets a bit thicker, which is okay. You know, it's not hard to play. It's not uncomfortable to play. It's just nice. So once again, uh, I want to thank Davis Guitar for letting me have this guitar for review. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you want to subscribe to this channel and press that bell for future notifications. And I'm, you know, I think a lot of you did not subscribe, so yeah, it will mean a lot to me if you subscribe to this channel, right? And be part of Patreon to support this channel. I appreciate the support, and I need the support. And I want to thank each one and every one of my patrons for their love and friendship. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself, alright? Stay safe. Ciao.